Hey guys, what is going on? i got a couple of books to share with you. These actually came out yesterday, which was July 11th. So I know I'm a day late on this, but uh, oh well. The big thing I want to talk about is the Art of Splatoon. It's a Splatoon art book, but uh, I guess I could show this one first. The one's a little smaller. Another ledger, Legendary Edition. Yeah, starting a lot today. Uh, as you guys know, I've been collecting these. I've unboxed the last couple that came out, or unboxed on wrapped, unbooked, whatever. So this one's the Four Swords. Uh, Four Swords originally was split into two parts, part one and part two. So this is both of them put together. So again, I like these really nice presentation. Only problem is it's like ripped on the spine here. I don't like that. I don't know. It's freaking, I got had a pre on Amazon. So of course the freaking mail people, you know, they like to do that. But you can see this thing's thick. Very nice, very nice artwork. Of course you got Dark Link and uh, spoiler alert. And the story, Purple Link ends up becoming evil for a little bit. He comes back. But look at this. We got all the uh, the contents, all the chapters. And then uh, the first few pages are colored, as always. The Four Swords had really great art. I, I really enjoyed this manga. Like I said, it was all the manga, all the Zelda manga are a different take than they are from the game. So then it goes into all the, uh, you know, black and white stuff. Just really, really nice stuff. Chapter 2, The Fall of Hyrule Castle. Whoosh. So, really, really cool stuff. Dark Link, of course, being badass. Dark Link, every incarnation of Dark Link is usually pretty badass. Body. I don't remember if this was based on the first one or for... Oh, yeah, this was based on Four Souls Adventures because Ganon's here, so... Um, so yeah, the, the, the manga, even though it's called Four Swords, it's based on Four Swords Adventures. So, right, here's a bonus manga, <clears throat> which is pretty cool. It's, uh, what the hell? I don't, I don't remember if this was in the original, but Shadow Link's blog, shopping online, pretty cool stuff. Of course, in the back, we got some other stuff. Um, 18 years creating video games and manga together. Uh, you got stuff from Akira Himikawa, who's... Um, you know, they make the manga, and then you got A.G. Aonuma, you know, producer of the series, so. Really, really cool stuff, really cool stuff. They're talking about, um, oh, stuff for Hyrule Historia and everything, just behind-the-scenes stuff. In-depth scenes only possible in manga, you know, um, and then showing, yep. Ocarina of Cover Gathering, Ocarina of Time, Oracle of Seasons, Oracle of Ages, Majora's Mask Link to the Past, Minish Cap, Phantom Hourglass, and Four Swords. I think this is the last of the Legendary Editions that needed to come out. So, this is all of them. I'm pretty sure in the future, once all the Twilight Princess comes out, they'll probably collect that into a Legendary Edition, but yeah. So, but now the main attraction, the Art of Splatoon, the art book with Splatitude. First off, I love this cover art. I love how colorful it is. It's amazing. I love how it splashed out here. The art book with Splatitude. But, uh, yeah, this comes out literally just, you know, um, like a week and a half before the game does, the Splatoon 2, so, which I can't wait for. So, this thing is thick, guys. I think this has mostly art from the first game, but uh, it is put out by Dark Horse. They put out a lot of the art books and special books and stuff from Nintendo, like a lot of the Zelda books and everything. Uh, the Art of Splatoon contains 320 incredible pages of artwork, including 2D and 3D illustrations of your favorite characters, maps, concept art, weapon, and gear design, storyboards, sketches, hand-drawn comics, and that's only an inkling of what's inside. We're not squitting around. This is a must-have for all fans of the hit Wii U video game Splatoon. So yeah, I was going to use my knife, but there's already a tear in it. I, by, by flipping it over, I kind of teared the plastic a little bit, so we'll just do it that way. So. Um, this runs you normally $39.99 in the U.S., $53.99 if you're uh, in Canada, but I got it, I had it, on, I had it pre-ordered on Amazon since like months, for like months now, and whoops, sorry about that guys, let me readjust real quick, but I had it um, pretty much pre-ordered for months, it was, I want to say it was like 21 22 eventually, plus tax. Free release day shipping, so take a gander in this. That's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. That's cool. Reminds me of the uh, loading screens. So that's cool. Uh, the Artist Platoon. That's cool. 
It's really cool. It reminds me of, this is very colorful. This is very nice, very nice quality pages. So you got artwork, living things, weapons and gear, world, extras. Um, it's really cool. 2D artwork. It's just, it's just, just awesome. It's just very awesome. Um, that looks like a magazine cover. That's cool. This is, this is, this is really cool. I guess lots of cool stuff in here. Like I said, it's, and it's great. This is coming out. Oh, look at, they have 3DSs. That's funny. I'd love to see a Splatoon game on uh, 3DS. I don't know if it'll happen, but this is just, oh, it's beautiful. The main thing I love about Splatoon is the artwork and the art style. It's just the art style. It's just so colorful. It's just all over the place. It's amazing. It's definitely one of the most, it, it's one of the best art styles in modern gaming. I, I gotta, I gotta be honest, at least in my opinion. I prefer games like this over the realism that you see on a lot of Western games nowadays that are being made on the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Um, that, that's just my opinion. I just I love all this. These are all like in-game posters and stuff. And um, There's Judd the Cat, you know, more drawings of protagonist. Oh, here's the artwork that you've seen a lot with the first game, 3D artwork. Just awesome. There's the orange squid face. It's just, it's really cool. Some of this looks like it could be from the second game, but I'm not sure. But I think it's, I, th I think it's from the, from, from the first game. But, got fashion here, that's cool. All the stuff going on with that. Just, just really cool, really cool. It's just, oh, here we got all the different uh, squid designs, or, I mean, uh, squid colors. Ah, the squid sisters, Callie and Marie. Team Cali for life. Sucks what happened to her. I'm 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 still debate I'm still uh, speculating that she's gonna be the final boss of the single player for the second game, but we shall shall definitely see. Oh, here's all the different concept arts for them. So they actually went through a lot of Oh man, I like that design. <laughs> I like that design a lot. That's pretty badass for Cali. Captain Cuttlefish. I hope he's back for the second game. I haven't seen him in any of the directs or anything yet. Oh, there's Judd. Sheldon, of course. You gotta love Sheldon. He makes all the weapons. Annie and Mo, Jalonzo. Yeah, a lot of these characters aren't gonna be doing the same roles they are in the second game, but they're still gonna be in the second game in some capacity. Oh, there's the Octarians. Really cool. Octarian biological research papers. Interesting, interesting. So it's a concept art for a lot of the Octarian stuff, their vehicles and weapons and the enemy designs. This is just, man, they went all out with this art book. I mean, look at this. Let's, let, let's skip ahead a little bit. So here we got weapons. Oh, sub weapons, special weapons. Look at this. They got, like, got the Ink Zooka, the Echo Locator, Splat Bomb, Burst Bomb. Look at like, all, this, all the stuff, man. So here we got our uh, design art gallery, splatter shots and all that. Ah, the rollers. The rollers is what I use for the most part. I know a lot of people say, oh, well, the rollers are, it's, you know, casual, trash, but I, it's what I like. Oh, here's all the gear, all the hats and stuff. I can't wait to see, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure eventually they're going to do a follow-up to this book with all the stuff in the second game, and I think it'd be really cool. What the heck? I don't remember this from the game. Topless Collection 2015 Part 2. I don't remember this. Looks like golf uniforms. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. But uh, yeah, I remember a lot of these from the game. Um, really cool. Got shoes. Got to have shoes. All right, so now we got, let me see, what is what is this here? Oh, cool, more gear. And then, I'm trying to see, here's the world. So Octo Valley, really cool, really cool. All the concept art for the, here's the concept art for the, the portals or the, the manhole covers, whatever you want to call them. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Just different stuff from the single player. I can't wait to play the single player in the, in the second game. I mean, I know the main draw to these games is the online, obviously, but the single player, you can't you can't miss it. It's an experience that you only get in that single player. Just very, very great level design. Like I said, the second one looks like it's going to even blow the first one out of the water. So, Bluefin Depot. Just some really cool stuff. Black Belly Skate Park. I love the skate park. Urchin Underpass, that was a pretty cool level. Kelp Dome was alright. It's alright. I know some of the levels are returning and some are not. Murray Towers is pretty cool. Murray Towers is pretty cool. 
but yeah I'm, I'm interested to see which levels don't return and which levels do so be really interesting besides I'm pretty sure they'll bring back some of them as a free DLC for the second game as well mystery file the sunken scrolls so these are sunken scrolls that actually you collect throughout the game the single player so that's cool they have all the uh, they have all of them here, so you can actually read about them here. So I'm going to skip ahead, so that way, if no one wants to be spoiled. But that's cool. Oh, I got all the graffiti. They even have art for the graffiti! Look at that! That's so cool! Oh, that's so cool. Look at all the, like... Man, this reminds me of, like, old-school, like, Tony Hawk games. Like, all the brand names and stuff. It's just, it's, just, it's just cool. It's very funny. Very quirky and just cheesy, but awesome. Hail Hydra. No. <laughs> uh, oh, that's... Look at all this. Look at look at the Japanese warning signs. It's crazy. Very crazy. Look at this. Oh, man, we got more stuff going on here. Just, oh, my God. It's just so much in this art book. There's still so much to go through. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Wait, what? Holy crap. This right here. Oh my god, this right here is an entire timeline for events for the first game. From when it was first unveiled, if we go back... Oh no, 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 no. This is the Twitter and Tumblr. So it's the official Twitter and Tumblr pages where they revealed everything in their blogs. So this is actually really cool. So from... And it started back in December 2nd, 2014. And it goes through everything. It goes through up until the game launches, then the Amiibos, and the DLC that you get... Showing the 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 splat fest and the global test fire and oh man that's that's cool we keep a physical log of everything that's awesome and then here's the rough sketches that's cool <laughs> this is just this is one of the best art books I've I've ever seen honestly it's just this is just fantastic I mean oh my god here's early concept art for the Squid Sisters <laughs> I'm glad they didn't stick with them because they're not that great maybe, maybe the, these ones are kind of cool but. Yeah, I like the final designs. At least Callie for sure. I love Callie. All the more rough sketches. Just really cool stuff. Oh my god, here's the manga? No, this can't be the manga. Cause I know they have a manga in Japan. I don't, I'm not sure if it's came out here yet. This is literally the manga or a comic or something. This is awesome. That's Splatoon Squid Manga. Yep, that's awesome. So, Mellow Squid. <laughs> this looks like a newspaper comic. That's cool. Yeah, so you got like all, wow. Once you get to the back of that, let me see. Yep, four panel comics. Coming soon. Oh, they have, do have a Splatoon 2 section, so that's cool. Um, awesome. So they got a couple pages for Splatoon 2. See, that's really cool. That's really cool. Look at that. Oh, man. This is just... And that's that's it. So that is just insane. That is insanity. That is one of the best art books I've ever seen. Like I said, several hundred pages of Splatoon, like everything. So, yeah. Thanks for um, watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Did you guys pick up the book? Are you guys getting the second game? Let me know. Leave some comments. And as always, I will catch you guys later.